When the Foo Fighters won a Grammy Sunday night, their frontman Dave Grohl said their latest music was recorded in a garage with live instruments and no computers. His group can go old school because they've already made it to the big time. But what about today's aspiring American idols? For them, the path to stardom is much different than it used to be. Jennifer Hall is chasing her dream while rehearsing with her band late at night in a Chicago recording studio and sitting on a couch in her high-rise apartment. Now you have to make sure your band page is up to date on your Facebook and your MySpace songs are updated. And It's posting shows, creating the events, messaging people. It's all about social media now. Jennifer is online promoting her music six to eight hours a day. It paid off with a packed house for her recent show at Subterranean and Milwaukee Avenue Music Club. The new music business is nothing like the old music business. To promote bands, we would get in the van and drive around the city late at night and glue our posters on every light pole we could without getting caught. Sean Mulrooney, now co-owner of the longtime popular Wicker Park Music Club, Double Door, was once an aspiring musician himself. Where we literally hand wrote labels on, you know, 2,000 postcards and put stamps on them, sent them out for every show. With the social media that's available, none of those things happen anymore. The Double Door is a legendary launching pad for Chicago bands, most famously Smashing Pumpkins. But the club has changed with the times too. What we do is we coordinate our own Facebook and our own uh, Twitter accounts to promote our nights and our bands as well. So, you know, we are in essence a promoter of our room, but we expect the bands we book to promote themselves as well. And it's not just the promotion of music, but it's production and distribution that's undergone a digital revolution. And it used to cost thousands and thousands of dollars to make a record. Now anybody can buy a nice piece of software, plug it into a home computer, get a nice microphone, and you can make records in your bedroom. The internet is uh, a blessing and a curse for the music business. Record producer and engineer Jay O'Rourke says the internet makes it easier to spread your music around the world, but harder to get paid for it. It's really been bad for established artists. Their back catalogs are worth nothing pretty much anymore because of piracy. In order for young artists to make money in the music business, it's more important than ever to understand not just the music, but the business, publishing, licensing, and sponsorships. And those are the main income streams right now, since recorded music really isn't selling. Recording may have become easier, but getting a hit record is as hard as ever. Songs are king in the music business, period. I don't care how great a player you are, or you know how great a drummer you have, or how great a singer you are. Song is, the song is king, it always has been, it always will be. Where do you want to be a year from now with your music? Playing in other cities, uh, playing for more people, and being able to sustain a living. The formula for success used to be make a record, get it played on the radio, and then cash in by going on a concert tour. Now with radio no longer being an outlet to sell new music, the idea is to grow a fan base online so you can make money playing live and then sell your records and other merchandise. And Robin, believe it or not, the number one radio station with uh, young people in the age group 18 to 34 in Chicago mm -hmm. and most other cities is the internet radio site Pandora. That's okay. number one. Is that the one where they can kind of create their Customize own? Customize your you playlist. That's, that's right. That's iHeartRadio, that same kind of concept. Similar. But why don't radio stations then play new music so that people could turn to the radio to hear new music? Ask the consultants. They oh. say, we don't want to hear it. They killed it. Okay, but she was great. I'd go see her. Jennifer Hall. Information about where she's playing on our website. In fact, we've also got the unedited, longer versions of our interviews about today's music business. It's all posted at myfoxchicago.com. I could only say.